In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a couple of basic techniques on how to remove hair. Check it out. So techniques for this range from in everything from using the paintbrush tool to the healing brush tool to the clone stamp tool. And it really depends on what kind of picture you're using. A uh, picture as detailed as this with so many uh, different variations in the skin, especially since she's wearing glossy makeup all over her face, it can prove a little difficult. But I'm going to show some basics on each of the tools so you can better understand them. So first we'll start with the spot healing brush tool. Simply click and drag over an area and it gets rid of the hair and it does it relatively easily. Do little pieces here and there over the eyebrows, things like that. And it just helps clean it up. But as you can see, it isn't doing the greatest job. So we're going to go back and we're going to try the healing brush tool. And basically what this does is it you're going to sample parts of the skin around it and then use it to your advantage. Make sure your source is sampled, not pattern, and we'll keep the mode on normal. But we'll try a couple other modes in a second here. So, alter option, click next to the hair, and click and drag in. But you've got to be super careful how you do this. You can also do this for eyebrows and just little pieces of stray hair here and there. But you got to do it carefully. Let's try a different blend mode. We'll try color. Color sometimes is helpful. We'll try a little stray hairs out here. And you want to go from the outside in. Now all that color really does is help blend it a little bit, but it doesn't do much. But the replace mode really seems to help. In fact, it seems like it's going to be our best bet. And also, be wary of the hardness of your brush, because sometimes it can create a make things a little bit too obvious. But if you use something that's less hard, say 50% or zero, then it'll become much less obvious. Now there's a couple other things you can use, including the patch tool. Patch tool usually works best for entire areas of hair like here, which I showed in a previous tutorial. But we'll try it over here with this little piece of hair and see if we can't help that out. Make sure that the patch is on source. Move it over to a piece of skin over here. And it helped. It didn't help greatly, but if you're careful with the patch tool, then it might be able to help more. And finally, we'll try the clone stamp tool. Works the same as the uh, healing brush tool, except as you can see, you get a lot more options on blend modes, opacity, flow, how many layers you're sampling, things like that. So we'll go ahead and work on a few details over here. Alter option click to sample it, and then just start going through this. So it was somewhat helpful, but it definitely takes a lot of work and a lot of patience, but those are just some basic techniques. All right, guys, if you have any other questions for Photoshop regarding touch-ups and enhancements, please send me an email to requestsitmahalo.com, and please be sure to also rate, comment, and subscribe below.